Well, Mark, so good to see you. Nice to see you too. Okay, here's a stat for you. Uh, April 19th, Leafs versus Flyers. You and Wayne Simmons assist on Jason Spetz's goal. The combined age of your line was 109 years, and that is the oldest NHL goal combo in the season this year. Now that's a stat I think you should be proud of. How, <laughs> well, how does that sit with you? Uh, yeah, we were laughing about it. Me and Spez were kind of, we were trying to hide the fact that we're old, so we, we were <laughs> too happy that that was being passed around. But no, it was a pretty, pretty cool moment. I mean, uh, playing against Spez and Simmer for a long time in the league, uh, to be able to be on the same team now and to combine for a goal, it was pretty cool. But I did get a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of text messages and a lot, a lot of chirps about that one for sure. Who says it's a young man's <laughs> yeah, game? Exactly. Youth is overrated. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, when you look at the three of you, you're, you're all from Toronto. You've all now played over 1,000 NHL games, and you're all still looking for your first Stanley Cup. I mean, is there kind of a camaraderie that the three of you share? Oh, for sure. I think uh, if you look at it, the way our careers have gone, we're, we're all guys who, like you said, have played a long time, but uh, haven't been able to obviously get that ultimate goal of winning the Cup. So I think we all, uh, we, you know, we, we share that in common, but we, we look at each other as, as all in the same boat. And two guys that obviously I've, I've grown to have a lot of respect for in the league. We played against uh, each other a long time and uh, you know I remember growing up watching the Leafs and uh, having my calendar uh, out knowing when all their games were so nothing would be better than to be able to, to obviously win in our hometown together as well. Your friends are excited, your family must be excited. <laughs> yeah. how, how are your mom and dad? Uh, oh it's been great. I mean uh, the first thing that they were most excited about was uh, being me finally playing in their time zone so they don't have to stay up till 9, 10 o'clock every night to watch games. But the sport's been great. My mom's been to every game. She really loves coming down and watching and getting in the atmosphere. So um, they're, they're really super excited. How many tickets do you think you're going to be on the hook for this series? Oh, I don't know. I just <laughs> took a look at the prices and uh, they're pretty, pretty high for playoffs, but I'm sure there'll be a few out there. You spent 15 years with the Calgary Flames, they're the team that many people are saying have the best chance as a Canadian team to maybe make it all the way. How, how closely have you still been watching them? You must still keep in touch with the guys. Oh yeah, I've been watching. I think uh, they've had an unbelievable year. I think the, the style of play that Daryl brought in uh, has really, uh, they've really adapted to that and played well in them. So I'll be watching. I think they play on opposite nights as, uh, as we do. So it'll be cool to watch the, the guys too and uh, see what happens along the way here. Who do you keep in touch with the most? Like who are your closest friends on the team? Oh, I would say Luch is, uh, Luch and Monaghan are probably the two guys that uh, uh, I'm closest with, but I'm, I'm close with all the guys. And it's funny when something happens, either way, good or bad on the ice, you get you get some texts <laughs> from, the, from the guys back there. So, you know, it was, a big part of my life, Calgary and, and growing up there and, and living with a lot of those guys for a long time, so I keep in touch for sure. At this stage in your career, do you find um, you allow yourself to kind of take in the moment a little bit more? I'm sure much of your career is just, okay, the next game, the next day. Do you sit back now at this stage and kind of take it all in? Yeah, I do try to. I try to, um, you know, especially uh, at this time of year and, and, you know, before that puck drops during the anthems, really just take a look around and uh, it's a pretty cool position to be in so I want to do my best and take advantage of the situation.